Hello Svengers, it's me Svenny McG. Today I'm going to talk about this guy here. Recently I stumbled into one of these controllers. I see they're fairly popular on Amazon. In fact, they label them as one as their Amazon recommended bestsellers. This is the wireless controller for the NSL Nintendo Switch. What's the L? Light? Switch light? Why would you have to buy Pro? Whatever. It works on your Switch. We're going to check it out. All right, my friends, here's a close-up of the box on the side here. It just says wireless controller. Here it shows you some of the details, wireless. Here it's showing that it has multi-directional six-axis type. It has USB-C and it has a double vibration capability. Here's the details on the back of the box if you want to pause it, but we're going to move on and unbox right now. Inside the box here we have the controller, we have a manual, and underside here we actually have a USB C here. So removing the controller from its package. So again, seems to be that industry standard now. Everything's going to use USB C, and again, they did provide a cable for that, so great. You've got your four buttons on top. You've got a couple on the front here. Notable that the bottom legs here are actually rubber. So I mean, it gives you a good grip when you're holding it into your hands. You've got your four player layout there. It looks to be a home button. I believe this is for taking pictures. This actually has a turbo button on it unlike your pro controller your plus minus buttons a b x y cross pad left and right as the nintendo switch originally did to kind of focus on that red and blue aesthetic this carries much of the same you'll have to forgive me as i don't know if this is actually chinese or japanese this controller is made in china so i would assume that however given that the switch is a japanese product i really don't know forgive my ignorance there are english instructions in here though so again i will hold them here you can have a look Notably, we're going to need to pair this. You can do a wired connection. I'll sh tell you though that I did originally try that and it wasn't so successful for me. Maybe I did something wrong, but it didn't just capture it through. However, I had no problems going through with the Bluetooth and we'll look at that. You can even use this on a computer. It Apparently it will register as an Xbox 360 controller. So that's good to know. Cool. You can set the turbo function. Hold down the T and then push whatever button you want to activate as turbo. And it actually notable is you can control the vibration on here. 3D up, the intensity increases. 3D down, it reduces. You're basically gear shifting, they call it. it maximizes at 100%, then to 70, 30, and 0. Controller on, if I hold the T and push up. If you can hear that. So let's scooch in here nice and close. We're going to try that again. So we're at 0. I'm going to go up 25%. You hear that? 70% and 100%. So there you go. Has good vibration at that 100% level. Awesome. When pairing for the first time here, I found I actually had to use another controller to get into this controller screen. And then what you need to do is you hold down the home button until it starts going rapid fast like that. Then it syncs, now it's paired. After that, you're ready to roll. So how does the controller actually function? Well, let's give it a quick try. Okay, so first things first, I wanna showcase that, yes, I mean, all your buttons are gonna be functional here. You know, you can jump, you can move around, change my weapons here, left and rights are working. So notice that it does have that six axis though. Wherever I move, it is gonna to continue to move with me, so. If you want to actually play your gaming like that, you have that capabilities and other games will function and carry it for you. So pretty cool if that's something you're into. Okay, so how does gameplay work otherwise? Well, I mean, as far as the platforming aspects go, not bad. D-pad's working fairly well. No issues there so far. The D-pad itself, it's not bad. It kind of has like that upward curvature in all four corners. If you can, if you can see that there, it, how it comes upwards. So it's definitely ready for you to grasp, but uh, I don't know. It's not as smooth as a, as a regular Nintendo pro controller. I will definitely attest to that. However, it's working fairly well and I can't say otherwise, like it's, it's all here, right? <laughs> how fun is this game? I mean, can Kirby games really get any cuter? Look at how cute this is. Okay, and just using those sticks, here we go. We've got this hockey game here. This is Mario Party 2. This is part of the Nintendo Switch Online. 
There we go. And I am Mario here, of course. There we go. There's another one for the good guys here. There we go. All right here, and you can see again with a steady hand well, that it's going to take a little bit of quick maneuvering here with these sticks, but hey, we're getting through so far, no problem. And again, that's just this controller working away here. This is only just the left stick, but I assure you the right tends to work the same way. And I haven't found any issues yet. I have maybe less than 10 hours worth of time in with this controller, so that's not the longest time in the world. But I really can't say that I found anything wrong. It does support Rumble. It does not support the NFC. Therefore, you cannot use Amiibos with it. But it's pretty much going to do most of the things that you're going to want it to do right out of the box that a Pro Controller would do. So for the cheap price that you're finding these around on Amazon, etc., I got to say, it's not a bad alternative. Especially if you're looking to just add a second controller. Maybe you already have a Pro Controller and you're looking for another one for when your friends come over. This is not the worst option you're going to be giving them. So I say go ahead, check them out. I will have an affiliate link down in the description below. And again, I thank you guys for checking out this video today. Let me know what you think. If you do have one of these controllers, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. If you have any other recommendations. And if you did find today's video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing because guys, it really helps grow my channel. We're still getting things going here and I appreciate all of you who takes the time to leave me a comment, a like, and again, supporting me through subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day and as always, please take care and be good to each other. Bye now.